Hey guys and welcome to Long Division Racing. Today I am here to learn about Long Division. Hold on tight and let's go have a look at Long Division. You probably already know by now what division is, but to recap, division is the opposite of multiplication. Multiplication builds things up, and division splits things into smaller equal groups. You are probably used to seeing division like this. 50 divided by 5 equals 10. These are things you already know, but now we are going to see division problems that look like this. Here we have 372 divided by 3. In this problem, the 372 is the dividend, the 3 is the divisor, and the answer, also known as the quotient, will be put on top. To solve long division problems like this one, there are different ways to do it. Today we are learning just one of these ways. Now that we have this out of the way, let's jump in. But first, I have a question for you. Do monkeys sell crispy bananas? Well, do they? I need to know. Repeat this with me. Do monkeys sell crispy bananas? This might seem silly, but this phrase will help us remember the steps in long division. <laughs> the steps that we do go along with this silly question. Division, multiplication, subtraction, check, and bring down. If you forget these steps, think of our question. Do monkeys sell crispy bananas? The first step is division. We ask ourselves, how many times does our divisor go into our dividend? But we are not going to do all the numbers at once. We are breaking it down digit by digit. To start, we divide 3 into the first digit closest, which is 3. So how many 3s will it take to make 3, or almost 3? This one is easy because 3 divided by 3 is 1. Because we are dealing with this number, the answer will go directly above the number being divided. The next step is to multiply. 1 multiplied by 3 equals 3, and we put it directly below the number we are working on. Now we move on to the next step, which is subtraction. 3 subtract 3 is 0, so we put a 0 here. Up to this point, we have done three of the steps. We divided, multiplied, and subtracted. What is the next step? Check is the next step. We check to see if the divisor 3 can still go into the number after subtraction. If it can go into this number, then we may have made a mistake. The answer is no, 3 does not go into 0, so by checking, we know we did it correctly up to this point. Our last step is bring down. We bring down the next digit, which is 7. With the 7 down here, we start all of our steps again. Does 3 go into 7, and if so, how many times? 3 goes into 7 2 times. We write a 2 up above for the answer. We multiply 3 by 2 and get 6. We write the 6 below and move on to the next step. The next step is subtraction. 7 subtract 6 gives us 1. We now check by seeing if our divisor of 3 goes into 1. The answer is no, so we did that correctly. Our last step is to bring down the next digit from above. We bring down the 2, and now we have 12. Now we start the steps all over again. We first divide. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So we write a 4 up above for the answer. Now we multiply 4 by 3, which is 12, and write that below. The next step is subtraction. 12 subtract 12 is 0. We now check and see if 3 goes into 0, which it does not. The last step is to bring down, and if we look above, there is nothing left to bring down, so we are now done with the problem. The quotient or answer is what we wrote above the division box. 124 is the answer. Great job, kids! We just completed a long division problem. Now you know why they call it long division. Get it? That's a joke. Get it? Okay, so I'm not very funny, but at least we learned the basics of long division. Thank you for joining me today. The more you practice long division, the easier it will be. So keep on practicing. Now let's jet. Okay guys, you have a few options here. You can click the video on my right or on my left to watch more awesome stuff. If you want to subscribe, click the big red subscribe button below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever.
Hurry. Choose. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What?